Hi, welcome to another devlog about my water park tycoon game. In this video series, I document my progress while I'm making this game. In last week's video, I said that I would have a lot of time this week, but that did not turn out to be the case, sadly. However, I did manage to get some things done, so it wasn't a complete waste of a week. Um, and I, I do think that I will have a lot more time next week to work on the game, but I have now learned to not promise those things. But let's start talking about this week. So, the game already has a few functioning systems. You can, for example, terraform and paint the terrain. You can also place paths, both directly on the terrain or go upwards. And last week I worked on the system that automatically adds supports and railings to the path whenever it's needed. I also have collision checking in place, which means that paths can't intersect with each other and the terrain can't be raised through paths. And lastly, I have a functioning undo system. So with all these things in place, I think it is now time to actually add some water park specific mechanics. So I want to add the functionality to create your own water slide. So this week really flew by, without me even noticing. There were so many things that I had to do, like planning a few travels for the next few months, cleaning my apartment, doing laundry, looking for an apartment to move into, my part-time job, going to the gym, etc, etc. And some friends also came over for a visit. So before I knew it, it was already Friday. Today I had to wake up very early, so I could start my job at 6am. But after my job, I finally got some time to work on the game. So I'm going to add the ability for the user to create water slides in the game. And I want to do that using curves. So the player can place a Bezier curve, and then based on that curve, the whole slide gets created. So today I worked on the system that takes a few points in world space. Based on those points, it creates a Bezier curve. And then along that curve, it extrudes a set of lines. So it becomes an actual mesh. Let's just find an acceptable material for now. Um, just a quick note, I will be overhauling the whole uh, graphical style of this game. So, what you see right now, in terms of shading and stuff, is still temporary. I am aiming for a more stylized, even a bit toony shading style. So you can see the four points that I have placed in the world, and then I just have some code that makes sure that it creates a curve, and then it creates the tube along the way. And I can already change a few things like the radius of the tube and some of the detail information. I will be talking in more detail about how I create these meshes procedurally in the next video. And yeah, it seems to work flawlessly so far, even if you change the height and stuff. So it's looking good so far. But that's all I had time for today. Suddenly it's already Sunday evening, or actually Sunday night already. I just ate some midnight pancakes and I do want to work a bit more on my game because I managed to do so little this week. Of course I won't have time anymore to make the whole water slide builder, so I decided to work on the building UI. So if I now click the build tab, then it shows a whole panel 
that you get to choose what type of building that you want. So for example, attraction, amenity, infrastructure, or decoration. And then based on the type that you have chosen, there are some filters that you can choose. And then I also added a few items that are just placeholders for now, like a pool, a water slide, a few rivers, and a hot tub. Besides those attraction placeholders, there's nothing yet in this menu, but it will be really easy to add stuff later on. So even though it seems like not that much, I am happy that it will make my life easier once I start to add a lot of content in the future. The actual buttons themselves, also for the filters and the build types, are just temporary because I plan to change a lot of those things with images instead of just text. I am now ready to start working on the actual water slide creation tool. So that will be for next week. So see you in next week's video.